Okay, so I want to cover a little bit about cooking. Mostly what I just want to tell you is what what little stove I like to use, right? As far as the pans go, um, you know, there's a lot of different pans out there. You're really going to have to learn how to cook, like I keep saying that, but uh, it's important to learn how to cook if you don't know. So I'm going to do some more, some more videos, like I said, on how to cook and maybe like what pans and stuff like that to use. But you know, a, a pan will cook, will cook food, you know, but at the end of the day, there are some pans that, um, you get the point. <laughs> but, uh, um, so let me just talk first about what stove I actually like to use. I used to have a big Coleman stove. I still have it, but I don't really use it that much. Like one of the big, um, like a big camp stove. But now what I use are these, these little stoves right here. See, I have three of them right here. These are, this is a, this one is a Ozark trail model. And this, these are basically little stoves that you just connect to the top of these and you can just cook with them. You can set a little pan up here, a little pot, you can boil water. And they actually last a long time, in my opinion, right? I can probably cook, if it's just for me, I can probably cook at least five meals with one of these, maybe more than that. Right, and a lot of times now I just buy them in the um, at Walmart. They either come in the two packs or they come in these four packs, and I just buy them that way. And I just buy these little stoves. Right, you can use either either these propane tanks or you can use the other those other fuels too. This one with this particular model, it has an adapter so that you can use that other kind of fuel too. I want to say it's butane, but don't don't quote me on that. But it's the other kind of fuel that's sitting right by these when you go to Walmart to buy one of these. Either you can buy the propane or the other little, it's smaller, you know, so you can buy either those ones or these ones. You can use both of them for these, for these little stoves. But I just want to tell you, this is the stove that I like to use. It's real convenient. It's real easy. <clears throat> you see how I have this thing set out here as a table? And that just shows you it's always nice to have something in your storage compartment that you can set outside and use as a table to cook on and to eat on like a you know like a table uh, but this is the stove that I like to buy these are only about 15 bucks too so in my opinion get yourself one maybe two of these right nothing wrong with having two of these in my opinion I have three right here so they don't last forever though I'll tell you like they work great and they do last a while but they won't last forever so it's good to have more than one. But they even have a little click starter on it. So you just turn this little knob and just click it and it just starts up, right? See? I don't know if you can see that on camera. Either you can start it like that. You can start it with a lighter too if you have to. See? And they just screw on the top here. Turn that off. But it's got that little click starter on it. So that's what I use. That's the stove I use to cook with okay right and I got I also want to tell you if you're gonna live in your van like this it's always nice to have a good assortment of rechargeable lights I always like to get rechargeable ones like I got these ones are from Amazon right it does some different things and you can recharge it right and then these are some hyper tough ones from Walmart Right, this one has a little hook on it. Just get yourself, just get yourself a good assortment of rechargeable lights. Okay. I also use this hyper tough drill a lot. I don't make any money for these products. It might seem like I do, but I don't. I just buy this stuff from Walmart. You know, it was cheap, and I bought it, and it works well. So I, I kept using it, and I still buy this stuff. So, this is a hyper tough drill from Walmart. It's nice to have a drill in your in your little tool kit right you can do a lot with the drill it comes in handy so it's nice to have this right most of the time but let me show you let me show you what you can do to charge this stuff all right because sometimes charging this stuff in your car is tough either you're gonna have to have a little generator we can talk about generators another time right but they're useful you can definitely use them but I'm going to show you another way that you can charge all this stuff 
use in your car, right? You know, with some of the stuff, you can use a USB port, but I'm going to show you an inverter you can buy at Walmart that actually has a plug-in so that you can actually charge uh, things like, like this drill battery and stuff, okay? So stay tuned. I'm going to show you that real quick. So I want to also talk to you about when it comes to um, having some more options and some more plugins, what you can buy. I got this at Walmart. Uh, this is called an EverStart, and this is um, it's basically like an inverter. See, it's got the, the uh, cigarette lighter plug-in thing, and what it has is it has one regular plug. See, see. See, it's got one regular plug on it and then it's also got some USB type plugs on it so you can plug this into your car lighter or something like that you can also get one of these that's bigger that you can clamp onto your battery you can clamp it onto your battery posts in your car and it's got more power it's got more plugs and you can do more with it and you can get them both at Walmart these come in real handy right Right, that way, when you have a couple of these, you actually have a plug. And like I said, there's a bigger one that you can buy also. I recommend buying them both. But the bigger one, you have to clamp them onto your battery posts in your car. And most, and it's a good, it's a good idea to have your car started. I don't think you don't have to though, but it's a good idea too, depending on what you're trying to run. This particular van has one of these. Uh, I forgot what these. I forgot what these are called. I just call them cigarette lighter plug things. <laughs> but this particular van has a plug-in back here. So I can, even if I'm laying back here, I can just plug this in and then I can plug my phone into this USB uh, things right here and charge my phone. And also with these lights, you can charge these lights with the USB. So that's another good thing about having these rechargeable lights is that all these lights you can recharge with a USB okay so that's nice and then and then you can uh, recharge your phone so that's one option you can use to be able to recharge your stuff when you're living in your van right cheap option right so there's the cooking um, I'm gonna cover some more stuff about cooking I'm gonna do some actual cooking and do some recipes but uh, this is just kind of like a a broad overview of what to what to use and some some different ideas so these are good to have though don't mistake right if you don't have if you don't have a plug-in like this this thing comes in real handy okay so what else that pretty much covers it um, I'm gonna do a few few different episodes and um, I want to talk about what was it? Oh, the minivan. I want to talk about the minivan. If you're gonna, if you're looking into getting a used vehicle, uh, excuse me, vehicle to try to do this with, what's what I found is nice to do. This one's a 2008, but what's nice to try to do is try to get yourself a vehicle that's got somewhere between, I would say, about 80,000 miles to 120,000 miles. Try to get it from anywhere from like. 5,000 is a little bit anywhere from 5 to 10,000. Most likely it's going to be about 6, 7, 8,000. If you can pull something like that, then you can have yourself a nice little vehicle that should last you a while. That you can get, either you could get it paid off, you know, in a reasonable amount of time if you have to make payments. You got to be, you got to be careful though, because if you're moving out of an apartment, but then you just add a big car payment, how much are you really saving, right? But you just gotta just just match it up to your own personal finances but in my opinion like I said don't overlook the minivan I think it's a good starter vehicle if you really want to live out of your vehicle and have it be comfortable enough <laughs> living out of a car is not easy but living out of a little minivan like this you can do it you can do it depending on where you're at right if there's plenty of places to park and sleep and all that and it's not too cold you can do it you can do it <laughs> learn how to cook that's one of the that's one of the big things you can save a lot of money if you cook your own food and you plan your meals and 
we'll cover some more of that in another video so thanks for tuning in be sure and click like and subscribe uh, uh, i'm gonna do some more episodes about this if you like these type of episodes right come back and see us again thanks